As we saw in the previous part, digital technologies can play an important role in boosting the amount of power available, in storing it, and in consuming it more efficiently. Digital technologies make it possible to build a new grid that is mostly powered by green energy. One of the biggest changes happening in the world today is a rapid transition from centralized to decentralized power generation. Until now, most electricity has been generated in large facilities. Big dams, big nuclear power plants, big thermal power plants. Decentralization enables the electrification with renewable energy of isolated communities that previously could only get power from generators. With the price of solar energy getting lower and lower, more homes have electricity. In Cameroon, for example, nearly 40% of the population isn't connected to the national grid. But solar-powered-based microgrids, some of them supplied by Huawei, are electrifying one village after another. With decentralization, we're creating a new grid that provides power from a wide variety of sources. Rooftop solar panels, large land-based and floating solar panel farms, sea-based floating wind turbines, as well as from traditional power plants. By 2030, the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, estimates that 42% of energy needs will be from renewables. It's more complex to source power from lots and lots of places than from a few large power plants. What makes it even more challenging is that power from renewables isn't steady. Solar power is produced in the daytime. Wind power, when it's windy. This means that a lot of energy needs to be stored for later use. The energy cloud will help to manage all this. More and more data about where energy is available, be it from renewable sources, traditional power plants, or storage, is being shared on the cloud. Utilities can use this data to create something called virtual power plants. According to IRENA, virtual power plants are systems that rely on software and a smart grid to remotely and automatically dispatch and optimize distributed energy resources. Using cloud data, utility suppliers can aggregate power from multiple sources, bundling it to create what seems like virtual power plants. It's been calculated that in traditional grids, more than 50% of power is wasted. ICT technologies, by constantly keeping track of the status of all energy sources, will dramatically boost the efficiency of the power grid. During power generation, ICT maximizes energy output, be it from traditional power plants or from renewables. A large portion, if not the majority of hydro dams, coal-fired and nuclear power stations currently in operation were built decades ago. They are fitted with analog controls that make it hard for operators in the control room to really know what's going on inside the plant. If there's a loss of steam pressure, a worker typically has to go to check. It's inefficient and possibly dangerous. Digital controls, such as sensors and high-definition video cameras, enhance the productivity of large power plants by quickly and safely identifying the cause of malfunctions. It's a similar story for renewable energy. Solar panels can produce more power if the sun hits them at a perpendicular angle. Devices called solar trackers use artificial intelligence to automatically tilt solar panels according to the sun's relative position throughout the day. At a large solar farm consisting of tens of thousands of panels, this could not be done manually. This is one reason for how the efficiency of solar farms keeps on rising year after year. All in all, by tracking data in real time about the status of all available sources of power, digital technologies help to create power grids that are more productive, less wasteful, and less dependent on fossil fuels. This will be a major step towards the carbon neutral world we need to build.